Well, the IFP has submitted a private member's bill to Parliament to regulate the employment of foreign nationals in all sectors, not just restaurants. The party's Liesl van der Merwe tweeted yesterday that when it comes to job opportunities, we need to prioritize unemployed South Africans. Well, to discuss this further, she joins us now via Zoom. Hi, Liesl. It's lovely to chat to you. Uh, I can see you've got Parliament in the background there. I hope that you have found somewhere to work uh, after the devastating fire. Uh, Liesl, just talking about uh, this private members bill, if I remember correctly, I mean, the IFP demanded that Parliament held a debate over the xenophobic attacks. Uh, Prince Mangosuta Butelezi, the IFP leader, has spoken very strongly against xenophobia. Has there been a slight change in perhaps the way the party is thinking about foreign nationals or migrants? No, Annika, firstly, yes, um, the IFP has submitted a private member's bill to Parliament. Um, it's called the Employment Services Amendment Bill. Um, we are seeking to regulate the employment of foreign nationals in certain sectors like construction, hospitality, restaurants, your mining industry, e-hailing, uh, courier services. We are focusing on jobs in the uh, general workers, semi-skilled and unskilled workers. And we are doing so, Annika, because for a couple of years now, the IFP has received complaints from our constituents from ordinary South Africans saying they are unable to access job opportunities in these sectors when they open up. And you would have recalled also yesterday you had the Minister of Labour on your, on your channel. He has admitted alongside the Minister of Home Affairs that in some sectors, like your trucking and your restaurant sectors, you get companies that employ um, up to 90% of foreign nationals. Coupled with that, I've been very vocal about the collapse of our immigration system, uh, the abuse of our asylum seeker system. We've seen a report by the Commission for Employment uh, Equity that also says there's a prevalence and a preference for the employment of foreign nationals in certain sectors. So what we are seeking to do, Annika, is simply to level the playing field, to ensure that where South Africans want to access job opportunities, at a time when our unemployment rate is the highest in the world, that they are not unfairly discriminated against. So really the issue for me of xenophobia does not arise. Firstly, wherever xenophobia arises, it must be dealt with. But to give you an example, we've had a, an issue last year where the Royal Buffer King mine employed only foreign nationals overlooking locals, and that caused tensions. So when you regulate and you ensure that there's a fair playing field for everybody in that community alongside the foreign nationals, that will go a long way to ease tensions in our communities. So we actually think that it can be a solution and, and not an issue that will drive xenophobia. Are those uh, migrants or foreign nationals being employed because employers don't have to pay them as much and they're uh, not as uh, charging as competitive rates as our locals? Yeah, well, we have done some research, and again, that is also one of the problems. Um, many employers, if you, do, if you do go to some establishments, you do find that some of these employers are, are preferring foreign nationals because they can pay them less than minimum wage. But that is also these employers breaking the law, and th that's why we want to bring this to the attention of the nation, to Parliament, to say, let's deal with this, because at the end of the day, we cannot stand for the uh, exploitation of foreign nationals, and nor can we have a situation where South Africans are overlooked for opportunities, especially young people, um, at a time when, we, when, when young people are not able to access opportunities. And so that's what, and we must deal with employers who are not complying with laws. Um, and so we, we really think that this is a practical solution. Of course, once it goes to Parliament, at the end of the day, it will be the people of South Africa, um, you know, citizens that will tell us what do they want to see in terms of numerical targets for these sectors. And it will, at the end of the day, be subjected to public hearings where South Africans will be able to decide for themselves what they want to see from this private member's bill. All right. Thank you so much. That was the IFP's MP, Liesl van der Merwe.